everybody. Hello and welcome. Good evening, everyone. We are coming to you live from the Gunderson Styles Concert Hall, nestled in the Etter Hall building on the campus of the Monroe Arts Center. I'm Kevin Callahan, the current president of the Monroe Arts Center Board, and I'd like to welcome you to the Underwriters Preview Party for 2021-2022. This is where you get a sneak preview of the upcoming events and a chance to help support them. You know it's, a great, you know it's great to be looking forward because looking backward at 2020, there were a lot of challenges. Thanks to our amazing staff and supporters like you, we made it through alive, barely. Now we can look forward to some amazing live entertainment, stunning gallery exhibits, and we even made some improvements to the building, so you'll have to come in and check those out. This event is so important to the MAC, and it's one of the key events that helps MAC stay strong and able to bring such amazing entertainment into our community. So let's kick it off. On the piano tonight and opening our show is the phenomenal Cindy Blanc. Yay! All right, Cindy. We'll definitely be hearing more from Cindy as we move through the evening, I'm sure. Sitting next to me is the one and only Dan Bloom from Big Radio. How are you doing tonight, Dan? Doing fabulous. Good I evening. see you got your deer hunting gear on tonight. I thought season was over, but maybe not for you. <laughs> you, prob you probably saw me from about 200 yards away. That's right. Good thing I don't have a gun. No, you're, you're good. We got you there. Yeah. All right. So uh, to my left, Kathy Hennessy, Mac Executive Director, is at the bar. And if you've watched these events before, you'll know that Dan is usually at the bar and Kathy is usually seated here. So Dan, what, what's going on tonight? Well, we thought we'd just flip it up. Kathy said she's watched people make a couple of cocktails in her life, and I usually emcee it, so we thought we'd just flip tonight. What do you think? It'll be a good time? Kathy, you have something fixed up for us? I fixed something very special for you, Dan. But first, I'd like to add my welcome to yours and to Kevin's and thank everyone for joining us this evening. Um, I'd also like to thank Cindy for playing Mac the Knife. Ah, you see what I did there? <laughs> um, so this evening is a really important night for Mac as we look forward to reopening after being closed since March of 2020. But first, Dan, I made a very special drink for you. It's called the Bath Cure. Ooh. And it's not really bath water, okay? But it's got white rum, gold rum, light rum, 151 proof rum, brandy vodka, grenadine, and orange juice. So I made this just for you, Dan. So tell me what you think about it. I'm, uh, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Don't drink it. <laughs> I don't know if I did, drink did that. Did you run out of turpentine? Um, <laughs> My walls needed, you know. Th this copper, I'm not sure, it might burn through it. <laughs> you do, do, you, do you want it, Kevin? Oh, no, thanks. Uh, I'm passing on that one, Dan. Try? I'm good. Hi, why, why don't you sit here and I'll go over there. If you insist. Oh, that's yeah, okay. let's, let's do that. You'll MC. If you I'll insist. The oh, truth okay. is, I wouldn't drink it either, Dan. I just wanted my chair back. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kevin. Did you miss me? I missed you. Glad to have cool. you back in the saddle. Cool. Let's get rocking. All right, let's do this. So while da Dan is working on our first set of drinks, I'd like to take this opportunity to discuss the importance of what your underwriting dollars will do for MAC and where that support actually goes uh, in the bigger picture here at MAC. But um, by the time we reopen the concert hall on the last weekend of October, MAC will have been closed for 19 months um, although we have been hosting virtual concerts and classes and self-producing content, we're very excited to get back to doing what we do best, which is creating shared experiences for our community. So right now, the plan is to reopen the concert hall at full capacity October 29th through 31st. We will, of course, do everything possible to keep everyone safe before, during, and after each event. Your generous underwriting dollars is what has made it possible for us to keep going uh, and to be able to reopen the concert hall and the art galleries. Beyond getting through the last year and a half, 
Where exactly do your dollars go when you underwrite a show here at Mac? Well, of course, the most obvious thing is to help with the cost of paying the actual talent, the group um, that is performing. Beyond that, though, there are sound and lights and the people who set them and run them. And many times, we're obligated to provide instruments, transportation, and meals for the talent and the crew that uh, come in to help with the show. There's a lot of little things that you may never see that actually make these types of shows possible. And no matter how many people attend each event, those costs will be the same for us. So let's talk a little bit now about how this is all going to work this evening. As usual, we'll take you through the shows that we have lined up for the upcoming season and show you some video. In the mail, you should have received the underwriter's booklet, along with a letter from me and the underwriter's sign-up sheet. You can also download all of those materials straight from the website. In the back of your booklet, you'll find descriptions of the different levels of underwriting, along with the benefits of each level. As we go through this evening, uh, and you see a show that you might like to underwrite, just check the amount next to the show. Don't forget to put your name on the form, and then finally just mail it back to us in the envelope that we provided for you. So Dan, what have you got going over there? Well, with a little the thought in mind, we're going to have margaritas, which are great any time of the year, but a particular very festive time. So we are going to start off with tequila. We're going to do these three times for our three hosts and pianist up here. So, tequila. <coughs> Triple sec, or you can use orange confro. It's a orange liqueur. You could even put in a little bit of orange slice if you wanted to. I like to mix the liquids first. That way they can mix up nicer. If you put the ice in first, they don't have the chance to really liquefy. A lime press is a wonderful thing to have. Careful, you can spray yourself in the face. This is going to be a good drink, I can tell already. Well, I'm kind of wondering why Dan's only making three and not four. <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to have one too. <laughs> He's already got one under the covers yeah, right. over there. Just yeah. the he started of early. Four up here, the, the three, I don't know. I'm having my shots in between. <laughs> All right, now with that, we add a little bit of ice. We'll pop off with just a little bit of a mixer to cut some of that bite. I like zigzag. It's a nice little mixer, not quite so tart. If you really want to use a little extra squeeze of lime, like a half of a lime, you can get by without putting in a mixer like this. But our our two hosts and our penis will be having three drinks this evening, so we thought we'd keep them playing straight. <laughs> little stir, Darn. you can use a nice uh, <laughs> mixing tumbler at home too. Gets a little sticky up here. All right, ladies first. Margarita's in a festive mood. Kathy. Thank you, Dan. Oh, okay. There you Thank go. you. Fantastic, thanks yeah, Dan. That looks good. So I'm gonna dive right in on that note because this is a, this is a perfect time to talk about uh, our next, our first act, our introducing our first act for the 2021-2022 season. This season will open with a very special performance by Gin, Chocolate, and the Bottle Rockets. Three high energy women in this group and um, they, they combine the musical styles of three solo artists turned bandmates, Jennifer Farley, Shondell Marks, and Beth Keeley, into a rich blend of tight three-part harmonies and clever pop rock songwriting, ranging from edgy to fun. GCBR, for short, released their first album in November of 2014 and took home the 2015, 17, 19, and 2020 Madison Area Music Award uh, for Ensemble Vocalists of the Year, talented group. They were also recognized as runner-up for Madison's favorite rock band in the 2016 Isthmus Poll, and their sophomore album entitled Lean was released on May 31st, 2018, and won Folk American Album of the Year at the Madison Area Music Awards. So let's take a look at this clip. All right, here we go. All right, you singing? Yeah. One, two, one, two. 
Better luck next time, little girl, they always say Well, I pack up my guitar, I smile and walk away Another day picking my heart up off the floor What about your heart? You've got to lean into it All the crime and the clutter in your head All the fear and the longing left unsaid Don't shut, don't try out You've got to say what you mean All the joy, all the pain, the in-between much fun, Kevin, and we just love hosting them here at MAC, and what a wonderful way to kick off our season. That same weekend at MAC will be William Florian with the Neil Diamond story. While visiting uh, Los Angeles in the mid-1970s with his sister, William was invited uh, to join and tour with the famous 60s rock band, the New Christy Minstrels, and William had the honor of being the lead singer for the group. Uh, singing in concert one of their biggest hits today. Cindy, do you know that song? I do now. <laughs> <laughs> About noon today, <laughs> I know that song. Would you like to hear a little bit of it? Today, while the blossoms still cling to the vine, I'll taste your strawberry I'll drink your sweet wine. Million tomorrow shall all pass away. Ere I forget all the joy that is mine today. Dandy, and I'll be a rover. You'll know who I am by the songs that I sing. I'll feast at your table, I'll sleep in your clover. Who cares what tomorrow shall bring? Today, while the blossoms still cling, to the vine I'll taste your strawberries I'll drink your sweet wine a million tomorrows shall all pass away ere I forget all the joy that is mine at Mac today Cindy. That was wonderful, Cindy. Yeah. Woo! It was, it was, it was this. <laughs> totally. Okay. okay, I think not, but <laughs> no, that Thank was you. wonderful. And I love that song. That brings back so many childhood memories. Very young childhood memories, <laughs> I might add. Um, so um, after many decades of performing and songwriting, William now presents his exciting new show, The Neil Diamond Story, at community concerts and performing arts centers throughout the United States. 
So join us for this show and experience the early acoustic years of Neil Diamond as William Florian weaves stories, songs, and humor honoring the life and achievements of this legendary minstrel. You'll find yourself singing along as William performs Neil Diamond's most celebrated songs, Song Sung Blue, Sweet Caroline, Play Me, Cherry Cherry, Holly Holy, Solitary Man, and many more. Take a look at this clip of William. Today, while the blossom still cling to the vine, I'll taste your strawberries and drink your sweet wine. A million tomorrows shall all pass away. All the joy that is mine today. I'll say behold to the place I belong, West Virginia and Samala. Take it home down country road. In the spring, ba, 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 ba. then spring became the summer. Who would believe you'd come along? Hands touching hands, reaching out, touching. Fantastic. That brings back some great memories for me as well. And uh, you know, our next act that we're going to introduce is called the Everly Set. And the Everly Set kind of sounds almost like a drink setup or something. So, Dan, you know, I'm just going to flip this one over to you. <laughs> well, let let's me, let's let hear me about the Everly Set. Maybe I'll make you a couple of Everly's later on. Yeah, fantastic. All right. Uh, the fun continues on the Mac stage with the Everly Set in 1957. Teens, Phil and Don Everly supercharged the vocal sound of rock and roll with memorable songs such as Bye Bye Love and Wake Up Little Susie, performed with charisma and sparking vocal harmonies. Now over six decades later, highly acclaimed singer-songwriter Sean Altman, founder of Rockapella, and Jack Sculler, Disney recording artist, have combined forces to present the Everly Set, a concert celebration of the legendary Everly Brothers. Here they are. hurting me I've got my pride and I know how to hide all my sorrow and pain I'll do my crying in the rain I'll do my crying when I dream 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 charms whenever I want you all I have to do is 
just like that, it's Christmas at Mac. So Dan, do you have a Christmas drink for us? I do. This one is a year-round drink, but very festive. Notice the <laughs> copper cup. Keeps it nice and cold, very flavorful. I'm gonna make uh, a mule. You can do this with a number of different varieties. Uh, Moscow mule would be with vodka. This is gonna be with tequila. You can just have a mule without any liquor if you like. So I'm gonna join in on this one. I've already put the ice in to keep the noise down. So we simply have tequila over ice. Squeeze of lime. Nice healthy squeeze of lime. After you put the squeeze of lime in, you mix in ginger beer. It's non-alcoholic. They do make a ginger beer that does have alcohol in it, but this is non-alcoholic ginger beer. This is a variety of what it looks like. Kevin likes diet, so we'll do his first. Keep it separate so we know where it's at. Ginger beer for the others. A shaker's good on these two. Again, I don't want to make a mess up here, so I'll just use a nice cocktail spoon. That Christmas music sound great with Cindy playing. Wait till she has one of these. Who knows what she might play? All right, mules for everyone. Let's do uh, men first. All right, thank you, Dan. Uh, Kevin. And Kathy. Kevin, you are this one. You're, uh, you're thank you, thank you. I can uh, feel the snowflakes know, kind of right? drifting down as we... Where's my Christmas present? Yeah. <laughs> Still working on that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, is that good? Very nice. Yeah. Thanks, Dan. Mm -hmm. Christmas at the Mac always begins with the holiday auction that we hold in Rudd Hall downstairs in November and some great shows throughout December. This year is no different. The four C notes are bringing the music of Frankie Valley to the Mac. Created by John Michael Coppola, best known for his appearance in Chicago's long running production of, off, of the Broadway smash hit Jersey Boys. The four C notes are the Midwest's only tribute dedicated to recreating the music of Frankie Valley in the four seasons. The show features the biggest hits from those iconic boys from Jersey plus your favorite holiday chart toppers by artists such as Dion and the Belmonts, the Drifters and the Beach Boys, and many, many more. Because of Mr. Coppola's legacy of having been trained by the creators of the hit show Jersey Boys and his personal experience with the Four Seasons material, the Four C Notes are the most authentic sounding tribute in the country. Dressed in matching vintage outfits with smart choreography, the four C notes give a legitimacy to their performance that similar tribute groups simply cannot match anywhere. Let's take a look at that clip of the four C notes. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. You better watch out. You better not cry.
Fantastic. That is some really great stuff. And now, if you are interested in underwriting this show, it's listed on your form as Mac Holiday Show TBA. So that one has been slotted in the Mac Holiday Show. That's the four C notes. If you want to underwrite that one, that's where you go. So Christmas at Mac continues with the Victorian costumed a cappella Christmas carolers from Chicago. The Caroling Connection are sure to get you in the holiday spirit, spread holiday cheer, and put a song in the hearts of all who gather. And it will make you dream of a white Christmas. Christmas carols, Christmas and carols, two things that make the holidays come alive for everyone. Let's take a listen. get off to a great start at Mac with Javier Colon, straight from the stages of New York City. Blessed with a stunningly soulful voice, an uncanny songwriting talent, charismatic personality, and commanding stage presence, Javier has already won the attention of the nation as the winner of the inaugural season of NBC's The Voice. Since then, he has developed an international fan base that's embraced his personality-charged, acoustic-textured blend of pop, rock, and rhythm and blues, an effortlessly distinctive style that he's dubbed Acoustic Soul. Javier continues to showcase his expressive voice and irresistible melodies and his own distinctive acoustic guitar work on his fourth album, Gravity. Don't miss your opportunity to hear the voice's four-chair turnaround. Let's listen to Javier. And you will find me time after time. If you fall, I will catch you. I will be waiting time after time. Secrets so still Oh, Blake, you're an idiot. Out of time, if you're lost, you can look and you will find me time after time. If you fall, I will get you, I will be waiting time after time, time after time. so much to learn Treating people that way you're gonna get burned What happened to you that made you so cold You say you haven't changed but I'm not so You're a child yeah. You make me feel so small Keep holding me down You won't be standing so tall You think you're 
Wow, that is some serious talent. I am so excited that we're going to have that in Monroe, Wisconsin. Uh, and, you know, uh, looking forward to our next act is a rock and roll, Dan. And I'm thinking maybe we need a rock and roll drink for this. Maybe I can rock and, rock and roll you, rolling. Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> These drinks are almost as bright as my shirt. These are tequila sunrises. Uh, they are now kind of looked at as a drink, but really was part of a song with Don Henley and the Eagles, their second album, Desperado. They had the song Tequila Sunrise. So we'll keep that in mind as we're rocking and rolling. This is a real simple drink. Uh, in some ways, it's basically a tequila screwdriver. However, it's tequila and orange juice, and you get the sunrise at the end. Thanks for picking up. So we'll, and I'm not going to fill these all the way up. Our, our hosts are... Drinking number three. We'll see how they do throughout the evening here. <laughs> We're drinking halfsies. Yeah, and I, I, I make it. I'm making halfsies. We're storing so, them back here for later. Yeah. Here's the key. You do not want to put the grenadine in yet. You want, but you want to mix your alcohol in your in your uh, mix. So this is just tequila and orange juice. Simple as that. And then it becomes a tequila sunrise. And be careful with this. Mm -hmm. Pour lightly. And just kind of drizzle it in. Can you sing and that it kind as you of go along, Dan? Works its way down. Looks delicious. There you go. And number three. That's all I know. Okay. And here we are with the tequila sunrise on a Monday night. Dan, that's uh, that is a work of art. Uh, appreciate that one to get ready for what we're gonna call pretty. Thank the you. Hillbenders Who Grass. So get ready for an explosive concert where, cheers, bluegrass meets rock and roll. The Hillbenders Bluegrass Who Grass. <laughs> you can't say that without laughing. Say that five times fast. The Hillbenders Who Grass concert gives a career-spanning twist on one of the greatest and legendary bands, The Who. All through the wood and wire of bluegrass instrumentation, from the early hits all the way through The Who's extensive musical catalog and touching on Pete Townsend's solo career, the rolling banjo, intense dobro, percussion, and the thunderous vocals have been the biggest Who fans pumping their fist and singing along to songs like My Generation, Pinball Wizard, Who Are You, and I Can See for Miles. This one, I've got to see the clip for. <laughs> What a combo. People try to put us down just because we get around. Never seen a fall, that death blinded blind kid. Shot plays me 
Now I get it. The combo works. That is exciting stuff. The Hillbenders have firmly established their presence as one of the most energetic and engaging progress progressive acoustic bands on the scene. They deliver a perfect mix of virtuoso music musicianship and rock star vocals. Whether you're a fan of bluegrass or music, bluegrass music or the who, this concert rocks on all levels. Yeah, I'm excited about this one. <laughs> a lot of energy there. Dan, have you seen The Who in concert? I have not had a chance to see Who in concert. Yeah, Cindy, have you? No, sorry. Right. Oh. Alpine Valley. Yeah. What about it's, you? Oh my God, yes. It was extraordinary. And it, I actually saw them just like maybe five years ago. So wow. they were as good as they were 20 years ago. So who'd you like the most, Townsend? Daltrey? I've always been a Roger Daltrey girl. Yeah. <laughs> he knows how to. Although walk. I didn't, okay, I did notice at the concert he's a very tiny little man. Ah. So that did not change my opinion of him, however. <laughs> <laughs> he still blasted out. He still blasted it out. Yeah, it was really good. So anyway, from the Who to Antarctica. Sounds like fun to me. So set from 1901 to 1915, which was the golden age of Antarctic exploration. These are the riveting true stories of Sir Ernest Shackleton and Robert Scott through the eyes of Tom Crean, who was at the center of three of the most daring and challenging expeditions to the Great White Continent. This includes surviving for months trapped on floating ice after their ship was crushed by ice and sank. This story is a testament of human fortitude against all of the elements of the Antarctic. Written and performed by Edinburgh Fringe Festival winner Aidan Dooley, this intimate piece of captivating theater reenacts the heroic endeavors with a blend of drama, humor, and rich Irish storytelling that takes audiences to the edge of their seat and beyond. Let's take a look. And my harness is attached to my rope, and my rope to the sledge behind me, which at the outset of any expedition I've ever been on, can have up to 800 pounds weight sitting on top of it. 800 pounds, just the weight of about five decently made men, but it's only been dragged by four. One, two, three, four. Which means every one of us is dragging more than our own body weight. And to get it moving, just to shift it, that's a feat of coordination between the four of us. So sometimes when we do move it, we don't want to stop. So there are days when we don't. So you'd be hauling, hauling, hauling and dragging and dragging and hauling for eight, 10, 12 hours a day. And you are totally alone. For the wind blows so hard off the pole, you're in a cocoon. You can hardly hear yourself think, never mind talk. And you're hauling and dragging and dragging and hauling. And if you slip or slide or fall, you pick yourself up as fast as you can. And there it was! There it was, about the size of a thumb on the horizon. There it was! South Georgia! And then darkness fell. Woof! Within sight of that blasted island, within its grasp of hope, hope, darkness. And in that darkness, the wind and the waves conspired to finish us off. For as, as darkness grew, so did the wind. And within an hour, it was up to Gale Force 8. And another hour, it was up to Gale Force 10. And then Worsley, the Antipodean, who knew the South Atlantic better than any of us, screaming in panic. <clears throat> That's veering into Hurricane 12. Hurricane! Hurricane 12. Okay, three of Dan's drinks in. I'm going to ask the question. If you were on one expedition that you had to spend months on ice floating around, why would you go again <laughs> and again? <laughs> You're going to have to uh, stay tuned and find out. Um, but that is the art of Irish storytelling at its best. Next up, we're going to go a little bit country. Um, Becky Bueller is a multi-instrumentalist, singer, songwriter, and producer from St. James, Minnesota. 
who has traversed the globe performing bluegrass music to underwrite her insatiable songwriting habit. Her compositions can be heard on records by Ricky Skaggs, Rhonda Vincent, and Doyle Lawson, and Quicksilver, just to name a few. Becky is the recipient of 10 IBMA awards, including the 2016 Fiddler and Female Vocalist of the Year, and we are thrilled that Becky and her band will be performing here at MAC. On your underwriters form, this show will be listed as Spring Show TBA. Um, how about a clip? That is some toe-tapping music. Yeah. That, you just want to get up and dance. I love it. She's so, awesome. Yeah, our next show is the After Dark series. And the After Dark series is a very interesting... Uh, uh, last year it was... Kevin, excuse me. We, yeah. We got a news flash. Oh. I'd say hot off the press, but that's probably dating myself. So it's <laughs> fresh off, off the, the text or something like yeah. that. Uh, we, we, we've got a news flash. It's, it's going to be Hollywood After Dark. It's singing All right. Hollywood hits. It's the first time this information is out there. Wow. Exclusive. Sure you heard it here. You. Exclusive. Yeah. So continuing on with Max, amazing After Dark series will be the Hollywood After Dark. Another great performance by local vocalists, musicians, and the like. The intimate After Dark series will continue to engage your heart and your soul with the songs and stories from our local talent meant to delight and please your artistic senses and enhance your musical experience. Who will be taking the stage in this extraordinary show? For now, we're going to keep you in the dark. But I want to say, if you, Kathy, would join in, uh, self-produced, explain how... So what that means is that this is a show that Mac produces on its own. So this isn't anything that we bring in. We use local talent. Uh, we write the script. Um, we stage it. We do, you know, the piano. Well, usually Cindy. Cindy did our Divas After Dark last year, which was amazing. Which killer the, show blew the roof off. It <laughs> had a blast there. Literally. It was wonderful. Dan at the end of the year. Yep. And Great that. audience. Local talent, sold yeah. out show. Yeah, it was have an ice bar. I don't know if we'll do that again. <laughs> <Yeah>. hint, hint. <laughs> that might have been a one in a lifetime event, but that um, was pretty spectacular. That was pretty it cool, though. Shouldn't have been, yeah. And we have a little clip. Do we, we do not have a clip we don't because have a clip. it's in the dark right now. It's that's why we're all yeah. in the dark. All right. But we cannot wait to see who takes the stage next year. It's, this is going to be an exciting event. It's going to be fun. We love doing it. Um, we've also been waiting since before the shutdown to announce this exciting show. Mac is bringing comedy to Monroe with the Comedy Zone. 
This will be an intimate evening in Rudd Hall at MAC with limited seating. You will enjoy an evening packed with fun and laughter at this special performance. The Comedy Zone at the Monroe Arts Center add, will add an extra zip to your weekend as nationally known stand-up comedians each bring their own brand of high energy humor to Monroe. You can get the VIB treatment, which includes upfront seating and a selection of tasty hors d'oeuvres, or if you've already grabbed a bite to eat before arriving, then just sit back and enjoy the show. Whichever option you choose, get ready for a night of nonstop giggles, grins, and guffaws. Wow, that is going to be something new at yeah. the MAC, and I'm looking forward to that. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. It is. It's going to be fun. In addition to all the other shows at MAC, we will continue to offer the Sunday Concert Series. For over 15 years, MAC audiences have been enjoying the sounds of classical music through the Sunday Concert Series. This series just keeps getting better year after year, and this season is no exception. This season will feature four performances. Number one, Avante Piano Trio, consisting of three seasoned performers who are dedicated to performing stimulating and varying piano tr uh, trio repertoire. They, they strive to enhance the educational understanding and enjoyment of their programs by providing insight into the music selections. Number two, the Zephyr Sextet performance is comprised of a wind quintet, which is a flute, oboe, clarinet, horn, and bassoon, and a piano, with each player being a unique voice of this multifaceted ensemble. Number three, Patrick Beckman, a Freeport, Freeport Illinois pianist and composer, features all original music, which includes a wide variety of influences such as jazz, blues, rock, gospel, and classic. And number four, the Madison Youth Choir. Spectacular performance, where they will perform another amazing spring concert at MAC for the eighth consecutive year under the direction of the awesome Michael Ross. That's one you shouldn't miss. Great performance. I think we have a clip of some of these series from the prior year, maybe? Okay, thank you. That's the, I just love our classical series. Um, there's something for everyone here at MAC, and we keep the fun going right through the summer with our Sounds of Summer Outdoor Concert Series. Grown-ups and children alike have a lot to look forward to as MAC continues this hugely successful Sounds of Summer Concert Series. The concerts take place outside on the South Terrace, and if you haven't attended one of these musical events, you need to treat yourself and put it on your calendar for the rest of this summer and the summer of 2022. The concerts start in June and run the first and third Wednesday of each month until September. So before we wrap things up here on the MAC stage, I just wanted to talk about the underwriting opportunities at MAC for children's performance programming. The Performance in Schools series that serves over 3,000 kindergarten through 12th grade uh, students is part of the children's performance programming. Included in that also is the Classical Connections for Children, which will be a pilot program in classical music for fourth grade students. The Family and Kids Performance Series, uh, sort of geared towards toddler and early elementary. Again, this series is free to everyone. We also have the Student Theater Education Program, or the STEP program. The Missoula, Missoula Children's Theater will be back this year with opportunities in performance from first through 12th grade students. Uh, we also have classes lined up this year in uh, American Sign Language and Music, Theatrical Makeup for Halloween, a singer-songwriting workshop, and bread baking classes for youth. That's just a little bit of what's going on for children at Mac Fantastic. That sounds like an amazing lineup. And, you know, last but certainly not least, you have the opportunity tonight to support the 2021-2022 gallery season. 
There will be over 15 exhibitions in the galleries this season, and uh, they'll be featured in the Wellington Gallery, the Morani Gallery, the Frainer Gallery, which is in the uh, Rudd Hall down below us, and the Mineral Clinic Galleries. So some really exciting uh, things to see in the galleries this year. And just to add to that, Kevin, is the Youth Art Program, which will again be continuing uh, in the, well, we're running it this summer, but also in the fall. So it'll be three sessions, fall, winter, and spring next year of that also. That's great. I yep. love to see the youth art that's so refreshing and lots of families coming in here to take a yeah. look and to, uh, enjoy that art. Great to see. So we're going to end with a little housekeeping right here. Um, please remember to send your underwriter sign-up sheet back to the Monroe Art Center. We hope that you're able to stop by and enjoy some of those delicious desserts that were in the back room. And uh, finally, I, I uh, want to thank you, and I want to thank the staff, uh, Becky Venden, Sarah Whitkey, Heather Smith, all led by our fearless leader, Kathy Hennessy. So thank you all to the staff. Great job through a difficult year. And a huge thank you to all of you who helped underwrite these fantastic performances. You are the reason we can bring such great entertainment and art experiences to our region. So thank you very much. And with that, Kathy, I'll turn it over to you. Yeah, I just want to add my thanks to Mac's amazing staff for putting this all together for us tonight. Um, and from the bottom of all of our hearts, from the board and the staff, we thank you for being here with us tonight and supporting Mac through underwriting these performances. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and we look forward to seeing you here in person at Mac in October. Cindy, would you like to play us out? Well, sure. I mean, give me three drinks. Bring it on, Cindy. <laughs>
Ah.